And you can see, uh, you feel the hip rotation on the left? Yeah, immediately. That's, yeah. It always goes back to what I'm used to. Right. Like the... Please take a step forward there. And you can see how much rotation he has now. So he's going to he's gonna bind. And you can see the other way. Which way are you moving there? Are your hips rotating left? Or? Oh, it's still rotating left. So... so thumbing between nothing, I don't... Nope. Baseball, total baseball. So Albert's going to demonstrate the right balance uh, express. This takes two minutes, two and a half max. Um, <clears throat> the more breaths you take, you can do, the longer it will last. And when you're doing these, Albert's doing them on the nine stance widths from right balance. Albert, you did first time two days ago. Yeah. Okay. And what time of day was it? Like 11? That's right, Doc. Yeah. About 11 a.m. and you came out the next day? Yeah, and it was still there. It was st so it lasted, is the point. Yeah. Albert wants you to, now, as Albert does this, he, uh, the knee flex is important, and when you when he's gripping this bar, he's going to have a baseball or a ten-finger grip. If there's any separation in the hands, it, this, the exercise has no effect. Number two. Okay, Albert's not going to do nine yet. I want to show you what happens. <clears throat> so he hasn't, he's done eight of the nine numbers. And what I want to show you now is how important it is to do all nine. So Albert, if you would just stand tall, look straight ahead. On nine, he has. Let me make sure we're able to see here. Yep. Okay, and take a step forward with the right. And you see the rotation. He's only done eight numbers. And now if you take him back, Albert, and if you take a step back with a left, they'll be able to see it on camera. The other left. There you go. That's my favorite line. You know. And there we go. So you can see the open lines. So if he's running, riding a bike, whatever he's doing, working out, he's in bad shape. So while you're there, please move that bar on. And let's do number nine. Your bar okay? You're okay with the bar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Okay. So you're going to do nine now. So the point is, if you get haphazard, you're not doing all nine numbers. Uh, nine. And the reason is we've mapped the core from the pelvic floor to the neck. We know other areas of the body are involved, but if we don't do all nine core regions, we've left you out of balance. Here, there's exercise. If you take a step forward and just hold that. And Albert, you can see, is very square. Now, Albert, if you could load just a little into that right side with a, as a, there you go, and you can see how square Albert's hips are. And if you could do the same thing with a step back, there you go. So you can see that Albert has absolutely no drag, no hip rotation, no pelvic rotation. So if you'd go anywhere on the mat there and just stand tall, look straight ahead, and add a little bit of knee flex. And you can see with that knee flex. And if you just change your stance with a couple of places there and do the same thing. So Albert's standing on the right balance setup mat. And you can see how square he is and knee flex is there. So when he adds knee flex, he's actually testing uh, the front of his core. When he stands tall, he's testing the back of the core. 